here are some points to remember on the nature of sale. What is sale? Sale is a contract where one party, or the seller, obligates himself to transfer the ownership and to deliver the possession of a determined thing, and the other party, or the buyer, obligates himself to pay therefor a price certain in money or its equivalent. The following are the elements of a contract of sale. Consent or the meeting of the minds on the subject matter and consideration, which is the price certain in money or its equivalent. Note that the absence of any of the essential elements negates the existence of a perfected contract of sale even when earnest money or down payment has been paid. The following are the stages of a contract of sale. 1. Felicitation or negotiation which starts from the time the prospective contracting parties indicate interest in the contract to the time the contract is perfected. 2. Perfection, which takes place upon the concurrence of the essential elements of the sale. And 3. Consummation, which commences when the parties perform their respective undertakings under the contract of sale, culminating in the extinguishment of the contract of sale. Now here are the essential characteristics of sale. A sale is nominate and principal. This means that a sale is what the law defines it to be, taking into consideration its essential elements and not what the contracting parties call it. A sale is also consensual, which means that it is perfected, valid, and binding upon meeting of the minds on the subject matter and the consideration. Also, a contract of sale gives rise to reciprocal obligations, which arise from the same cause with each party being a debtor and creditor of the other, such that the obligation of one is dependent upon the obligation of the other, and they are to be performed bilaterally and simultaneously, so that the performance of one is conditioned upon the simultaneous fulfillment of the other. A contract of sale is also onerous and commutative. There is no requirement that the price should be equal to the exact value of the subject matter of sale. All that is required is that the parties believed that they will receive good value in exchange for what they will give. It is also important to note that sale is title, not mode. A mode is the legal means by which dominion or ownership is created, transferred, or destroyed. But title is only the legal basis by which to affect dominion or ownership. Sale by itself does not transfer or affect ownership. The most that sale does is to create the obligation to transfer ownership. It is tradition or delivery as a consequence of sale that actually transfers ownership. Now let's distinguish sale from other similar contracts. First, donation. Unlike donation, sale is a disposition for valuable consideration with no diminution of seller's estate but merely substitution of values. 
property sold replaced by equivalent monetary consideration, and therefore cannot have the legal effect of depriving compulsory heirs of their legitimes. To distinguish sale from a contract of piece of work, if the thing is specially done only upon the specific order of another, this is a contract for a piece of work. If it is manufactured or procured for the general market in the ordinary course of business, it is a contract of sale. Barter is similar to a sale, with the only difference that instead of paying a price in money, another thing is given in lieu of the purchase price. What if what is given is partly in money and partly in another thing? In this case, we will look into the intention of the parties, their true purpose in entering into the contract. This can be gleaned from their conduct, words, actions, and deeds prior to, during, and immediately after executing the agreement. But when the intention does not appear, we can say that it is barter if the value of the thing given as part of the consideration exceeds the amount of money given or its equivalent, and it is sale where the value of the thing given as part of the consideration equals or is less than the amount of money given. To distinguish contract of sale from agency to sell, one factor that most clearly distinguishes agency from sale is control. One person, or the agent, agrees to act under the control or direction of another, the principal. To distinguish the shonen pago from the contract of sale, the shonen pago or the shonen payment is a transaction that takes place when property is alienated to the creditor in full satisfaction of a debt in money. This is not so in the case of a contract of sale. And note that when the rentals in a lease are meant to be installment payments to an underlying sale contract, despite the nomenclature given by the parties, it is sale by installments and governed by rectal law. So that's the summary of Chapter 1 on Nature of Sale. Thank you for listening.